Hi, my name's Ari Lieberman, and I'm a film photographer. I, so, I guess I got into film photography because, um, I mean, I've always been, like, I'd like to have, like, an artistic outlet, and, like, in college, um, you know, I was into, like, I did silk screening, like, printing posters, and that was, like, my thing. Um, and then after college, I went to law school and I had way less time on my hands. So I was like, what's something that I can do that's, I guess, more passive. Um, and so I was always interested in photography. I thought that was cool. I think I, I went straight into film photography. Um, I really don't know why. I think because I thought it was like more organic or something, you know? Um, Looking back on that, I definitely don't have that view now. I think I started in maybe 2015, 2016. Like I said, I got a Pentax K1000, and um, I think I, I was I was really into like graffiti and like street art, and so I I think first started by just walking through the streets and shooting a lot of that stuff that I saw. Um, and that was when I, when I first started. Um, and then from there, I got into, I really got into like Polaroids. Yeah. And probably like six months to a year after I started shooting film, I shot, I went to Nelson's and uh, they had like the, the newer Polaroid camera that came out. Um, and I shot Polaroid strictly for like maybe one to two years. And at that point, I was getting into street photography, like seeing it on Instagram. I was really into that. And so I was shooting like Polaroid street photography, like exclusively. It was really expensive, um, but that's what I was doing. Mostly shooting like street portraits, but also doing candid stuff. Um, and so that's when I started focusing more towards street photography, I guess. And um, it got to a point where I feel like Polaroids limited, like my, um, you know, my my development as a photographer. So then I went to back to uh, like roll film uh, and got a Leica M3. And since then, I've just been predominantly doing street photography. What I like about film, you know, that kept me shooting film and not digital was is just. The, you know, the grain, the texture, especially when I like develop my own film, you know, there's little artifacts in the photos that kind of give it characteristic to it. Um, but it's really just the process of shooting film, like, you know, opening the, the cartridge, putting it in my camera, feeling the film advance, you know, when I pull the, the advance lever and, um, and then, you know, winding it up, taking it out, putting it into a developing tank and developing it, scanning it. It's, it's the process, you know, with a lot of art, you know, when I was doing other stuff before, it's just the process that's enjoyable about it versus just film or digital where I'm just snap and I may not even look at it for who knows how long. So I think a lot of people say this, uh, it, it's, it's, the process and shooting it is a lot slower, um, and I, I think about it more um, when I shoot a picture because I have, you know, limited amount of shots, um, and so I, I really think about my shots more. It slows me down. It's kind of almost like meditative in that sense, I guess, um, and it's just relaxing. And I just do it for the fun of it, really. Um, like, yeah. I, I want to develop a style and you know something that's distinct about my photos when you look at them, um, and that stuff comes you know naturally through time. But I don't, I don't, you know, put a lot of pressure on myself. But being in the moment and slowing things down, you know, helps help develop my style in film. That's what film has really done. I really enjoy just being out outside, really, I guess, and. Um, being in environments or settings where just things are happening. Life is happening, moments are happening. Um, you know, it's, you see something that just happens in a split second and it's gone. Um, and it's just capturing that is, is really satisfying and gratifying. Um, so 
I don't think I'll ever stop shooting street photography. That's probably like where I find the most joy in my photography, but I'm also looking to try new things. You know, I, uh, probably a few months ago, I thought about, I mean, I did buy a digital camera. I bought a Fujifilm X100F and they have like those film filters over it. And like I, I tried the Acros filter um, and I thought, it, I thought it was great. Like it, it did kind of give me, like when I looked at it, a, a sense of like a film look to it. So I definitely think it can be replicated. Um, but again, it's just not as gratifying as having it in your hand and being able to see it versus just, it just being on a screen. So I definitely think it can be replicated, but it doesn't give me that satisfaction. It, it's slower, um, more in the moment, um, and I'm more focusing on my image that I'm taking. I'm, you know, a lot of people just, will, just take pictures left and right, but I try to be more intentional um, with my shots that I'm taking. So yeah, it just, it puts me in a slower uh, mentality um, than if I was shooting with digital or something else. I, I like my Leica M6, but any rangefinder I think would do. Um, you know, it, it's, it supports, you know, my approach to photography. Um, I, you know, zone focusing, they're smaller cameras, they're more mobile. Again, I can carry them around and, and see, go to different places without a big clunky camera hanging off the side of me. So uh, definitely a range finder um, that's a little bit more compact. And then again, strictly black and white film. And my go-to is Ilford HP5. If I had the resources, I definitely would make a book um, like a nice book, hardback, you know, de decent size. Um, so that would just be a project I'd be interested in doing is, is a book. Uh, I really actually also want to do, now I think about it, I really want to do like a show, like, um, and print a bunch of pictures, um, find a, a cool venue, um, and kind of have a venue that, I guess, is in line with the theme of the showing, and but that requires a lot of money. So yeah, that's definitely something I would want to do. It, I mean, it's not for everybody, but I, I think it's just more fun and more interactive. Um, you know, I see it film as just very simple. Like, I, I put a, can, I put a, a film cartridge in, I, set my settings and then I go. Um, but like digital, I feel like is, can be intimidating. You know, there's a lot more settings, a lot more distractions. Um, and so film, I think getting out can, starting off can be much more simpler and just much more enjoyable. The hardest part for me is after you've taken the pictures and even if you've taken some shots that you really like, it's just figuring out what to do with them, you know? Um, and again, that's kind of where I'm at with my photography too, is like, I wanna actually do something with them, not just have them, not just like archive my negatives and have them sit there. So I think that's the hardest part is what to do with the photos afterwards. By far, Elliot Erwitt is, is like my number one inspiration. I mean, I, I, when I look at my photos, I see a lot of his, his style in it too. Um, but he's definitely my main influence. His photos also, I guess, you know, they can be considered, I guess, street photography, but they really capture moments. And it's, it's the photos also have context to them. It's definitely been getting way more popular, you know, through the years. And so it's, you know, I definitely think it'll, I think it'll stick around, you know, and remain popular for a long time. Um, I don't think it's ever just gonna go away, but it's been really cool to see how people have been like, kind of reintroducing some old uh, technology with new technology. My name's Ari Lieberman and I shoot film.